alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the famed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for a much-anticipated main event. Opening round here, scheduled for 12. We are underway here, and we've heard from everybody that speed is going to be the big factor. Crawford's got it. Plenty of it. Yeah, now it's up to his opponent to come up with something. Maybe go to the body, take it away, slow him down. Back to the body! Parries that punch intended for the head. He did not see that right hand at all. He may want to tie up. Wow, stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. You know, Joe, I had a fighter once that got dropped in a round, and he wasn't doing real good up to that point. After that, he fought better. He boxed better, he fought better defensively, and when the fight was over, I said, good job. You know, he whispered to me. He whispered, did I get knocked out? Yeah, he did. Oh, he didn't know what had happened. I realized then he was fighting on instinct the rest of the night. Amazing story. Good flush, straight left hand. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Crawford. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Not able to land the headshot. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Scored well with that straight left. Bam Bam's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Crawford's rocked all of a sudden. Now each man has stunned the other. Oh, what an uppercut. Now hugging on the inside. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Able to land the hook to the head. Opponent. Always telling you to draw a straight line. That was a straight line. Right to the chin. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You gotta start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Bam bam! Spanked around by a uppercut solid and for the second time tonight he goes down One, two, three, four, that's the kind of round that tells you all you need to know about what kind of fight this is back and forth action both guys hurt that's the kind of round that you better make sure that you did all your work in the gym, that you're in shape, because more to come. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by bad intentions. Bam Bam's trying to steady himself in this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, how much can really happen in those 60 seconds? How much of a benefit is it to a damaged fighter? Well, a lot has to happen, first of all, physically. You have to revigorate the guy. You know, maybe massage the legs a little bit. Most importantly, get some ice on the back of his neck. You know, get that blood flow going a little bit. Make sure that you revive him a little bit. Get him back to feeling like he's ready to go out there. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Took a shot, now he gets, boom, left hand comes home. Oh, 
Moore's up top with a left. Good biting, snapping shot by bad intentions. Targeting that straight left hand. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. survive this once again he hits the deck he's gonna have to find the way one two three four five six seven eight nine Walford's getting back up to his feet after being knocked down Right back at him with a left hand. Bad intentions is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Wow, no doubt about it. Affected by that right hand. If I were him, I'd be hanging on a little bit here. Rock and his defense is porous right now. He could go down at any moment. But the problem is he's got the habit of blocking punches. When a guy's put them together, you can't block them all. Some are getting through. Returns to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Oh, and there you go. Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. And we come to the end of round number two. Bad intentions, his grasp of real estate is something special. Look how he just stays on the outside early on in this fight and is able to find his target. Well, you're right, Joe. It's prime real estate for him. I mean, he's in the neighborhood he wants to be on the outside. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Bad Intentions has done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. What? Crawford showcasing one of the best weapons you can have, especially early on in a fight, to set the tone, and that is the jab. Yeah, and he's shown that it does more than just set up other punches and, you know, just, you know, snap your head back. It just drops everything. You know, it just throws the other guy's rhythm off, and that's what he's doing a good job of. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Bam Bam. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. And he just holds on there. Bad intentions is landed a good, solid combination. Crawford's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. What a big shot. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's over. Look at this. Crawford's unable to beat the count. Knockout loss for him.